This week brought a first for space when a craft the size of a washing machine landed on the surface of a comet, collecting data for a couple of days before running out of power. But that historic first got us to take a look back at Canadian achievements in space. The amazing Alouette has outperformed anything that's been shot into space since the Russians started it with Sputnik 1. The mere fact that it's still faithfully sending back messages from the top side of the ionosphere is enough to make it remarkable. When it was launched in September of 1962, its designers figured that with luck it would operate for a year. As of right now, it's been in orbit for five years and seven months, and three of the six original batteries are still working. It was a picture that Canadian engineers had waited six years to see, and for which Canadian taxpayers paid $100 million. A giant space robot with Canada's name on it and the Earth above. The remote manipulator system performing perfectly. Okay, and be advised that we're looking at a great picture. Good evening. It was a spectacular liftoff and a history-making day for Canada. The shuttle Challenger blasted off the pad at Cape Canaveral at dawn. On board, astronaut Mark Garneau, the very first Canadian in space. Uh, this trip into space uh, for me has turned out to be more than uh, ever I could have hoped for. It's a great honor for me to uh, represent Canada in space. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff, liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery and the first International Microgravity Laboratory. Good evening. There's a Canadian in the heavens tonight, Roberta Bonder, going around in circles and entirely happy about it. Canada's second astronaut in space. She's orbiting planet Earth about 300 kilometers straight up. She left from this space center this morning, 59 minutes later than scheduled, but after a lifetime of anticipation, those minutes probably won't mean very much in the long run. Incredible view. A crucial spacewalk took place in the skies above us early today, and Canadian astronaut Julie Payette was in charge. Payette coordinated the mission from onboard the space shuttle Discovery. History was made high in the sky today. For the very first time, a Canadian walked in space. Early this morning, astronaut Chris Hadfield began installing Canadarm2, and with it, launched a new era for the International Space Station. With, uh, with great humility and pleasure, I accept command of the International Space Station. You know why I want to get back soon. You know why I want to get back soon. 